My first career was as a television journalist, and um, and I decided to come out to Hong Kong to pursue that. Um, I did that for about three and a half years, and um, after that, I, I actually went into producing. So I um, ended up going from a reporter to a producer, producing documentaries and current affairs programming, and um, I thought I just I. I had enough of that and I wanted to extend um, learning more about the communications field so I went into um, into uh, marketing and mm -hmm. communications my parents were in the garment trade uh, doing wholesale mainly uh, for luxury brands and um, and so I've, I've grown up with fashion all my life and I thought well, if I could just check my communications and marketing skills that would be something I think I would enjoy, and, and I really do enjoy that work. I worked with Christian Dior, um, working as the head of marketing and, and communications for Asia. I didn't really have the experience per se that um, you know um, from you know in luxury marketing, uh, especially for Asia. But um, you know I, I stepped into pretty big shoes, and which allowed for a lot of creativity. Mm -hmm. Um, at that time, when you know, when you're working as um, doing any type of regional position, you're constantly traveling. So I was, you know, in a different country at least three times a week, mm. and I didn't really see my husband very much. And we thought it was time to start a family. But then, you know, it's kind of hard from, you know, going to the office every day, being really busy, taking care of, you know, lots of projects, mm. like multitasking all the time to a quiet life at home, waiting for you to have a child. Yeah. And so then, you know, my mind was very active and mm -hmm. I was thinking all sorts of different ideas. At the same time, we also started Central Weddings. I mean, it's a beautiful business to be in. Mm -hmm. um, you're still around fashion, um, beautiful products, yeah. and, you know, happy people. Yeah. Well, we, um, I spent most of my time on starting the business, but now it's really running on its own mostly. Mm -hmm. um, for myself, I continue to just do brand development mm -hmm. and marketing, but I do that mostly at home because it gives me more time to, mm -hmm. to deal with my priorities, which is the home and yeah. the children. And then I think there's a, there should be a good balance, too. Mm -hmm. Because you know, I should also have a life, or else you know you can't live, you know, for your children. But yeah. you also have to have your own career path. And so these days, um, are you traveling at all for for your work? Or? Um, well, we're looking to expand over to China. Okay. I'm not sure yet. I'm, we're still doing a bit of research. Yeah. So that's where we're traveling at. And then also, um, we have a um, we just bought a, a, a winery in oh, wow. in Sonoma. And so oh. that I've been traveling to the States quite a bit for, mm -hmm. um, you know, just to make sure the house is taken care of, what to do with the grapes, to sell our grapes. I would like to get into Californian wines yeah. because I think that there's lovely boutique wineries that people haven't discovered and the wines are just fantastic. Mm. And everyone is really into doing sustainable farming, organic farming these days. And it's a summer home okay. and um, we are you know, we, ha we happen to have grapes on the property. Okay. It used to be a winery, but we're not, we're not going to be pursuing that. Yeah.